Good morning, everybody. It's the 15th of June. Time is flying by, but we are off on another adventure. Masha and I are about to take an Uber to the airport and we're flying to Auckland. We're going on another New Zealand road trip adventure. We're flying to Auckland, hiring a car, staying a little bit in the Auckland area and then driving to the Coromandel, which I haven't been to in a while. So it's gonna be a nice treat to go back. It is winter, so it's definitely not summer weather. I know that that is a summer destination, but I still think it's going to be beautiful nonetheless. So let's Let's go catch our flight. of Auckland um yeah what do you think driver how's it going well we just spent about three and a half hours or so shopping at Sylvia Park which is a giant shopping center here in Auckland but we didn't realize that traffic is horrible starting from like three so we got to the mall traffic was bad we're leaving the mall it's 5 15 it's just as bad this is just basically reassuring that I never want to move to Auckland sorry to those viewers of mine who live in Auckland it's not for me now I gotta focus so yeah guys, so I came to Auckland, first time in Auckland, well, other than at the airport, and I'm just like, unbelievable. Like, New Zealand needs to get their infrastructure straight if they're gonna accommodate a million people. Anyway, just saying, but you We're know. trying to get to the hotel now. Yeah, we're going to the hotel. We're Car staying in North Shore, I believe it's called. So hopefully we'll see it in the day, but the sun is setting and we're stuck in traffic, so. I'm not certain we'll see the hotel today until tomorrow in the daylight, because tonight, probably gonna arrive when the sun has already set <laughs> <laughs> the gps is saying that we have 34 minutes i'm confident catch you later catch you later bye there's my little finger hi people how's it going Good evening. After a bit of a rigmarole, we found where we're supposed to stay and I just want to do a hotel tour. Sorry. <laughs> Every time without fail. She's I'm vlogging, she's making noise. <laughs> It didn't stop when we got back from Fiji. I just wanted to show you guys a room tour. We did, in fact, arrive in the darkness. We stopped and got dinner, and we're just gonna enjoy the room for the rest of the night. It is a full moon tonight. We were trying to see if we could find the moon outside because we had to move the car. Couldn't find it, but I wanna see the full moon. We have a view of the Harbor Bridge, I think it's called, and the ocean, but we just can't see it right now. So I'll show you the view tomorrow, which is arguably the biggest selling point of this hotel. But for now, I'll show you the room. All right, so you enter here. I have it on wide angle so I can show you a bit more. This is our little kitchenette. So these are actually apartment hotels. And this is my favorite feature of the kitchen is this is the access to the fridge and freezer. I love that it's concealed and looks like it's just part of the cabinetry. Love those types of details in a kitchen. Literally, I would like this kitchen in my flat. This is way bigger than mine. <laughs> Has a full size sink. Look at that. <laughs> And here we go. This is the main living area. We've done some shopping, did some damage. Our living room with a TV and a balcony access there, which by the way, the view is stunning. We do have an air conditioner and heater unit, which is great. What's this? Oh, just a little control cabinet. Mosh is in the bedroom here. Here we are. This is a king size bed with access to the patio. We've got a full size closet and into our bathroom. We have an open concept shower, so it's actually mobility friendly. And the toilet's behind the door. This is an apartment hotel. So in this closet, we do have a washer and dryer. So I thought that was quite cool. Literally, we're here for one night. We're leaving tomorrow. So we won't utilize half of the stuff. Masha had a rough time earlier. We had horrendous traffic leaving the mall. Like that was just something else. I know Auckland has traffic. I just didn't know it had traffic like that. Yeah, you know what? The thing is, is I feel, sometimes I feel inadequate in myself because I can't help Kyra because this is such a new country to me and it's the wrong side of the road. I can't help her drive because I'm really not 
confident to drive wrong side of the road you know we can go through and have minutes where we're kind of like bickering at each other it's from a place of love because we laugh it off after yeah literally we're best friends again we get it out in the moment and then <laughs> and we're fine we get yeah, it out we don't yeah. let it harbor and fester inside of us which yeah i actually think is arguably better yeah it is because then you just get it out but i've always been like that anyway so we got one night here and then we're heading to Coromandel. Coromandel yeah. tomorrow. I'm so excited to see that land. But I'm so excited to see Auckland in daytime too. Yeah, actually I'm really excited to show you guys the view. It's supposed to be very pretty. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. And of course we're gonna hit the road. I'll have Masha take a bit of footage while I'm driving. I'm sure it's gonna be very scenic all the way up to Coromandel. So we kind of have to go like down and then back up. The ferry is not operating right now on a regular schedule, so we couldn't take it. So we do have to make the drive. I don't know if I've even gotten the shopping out of my system. We may, we, we're gonna spend one more night in Auckland before we fly back on Sunday, so. We might go shopping. Yeah, Saturday, we have Saturday night. Saturday. S-A-T-U-R-D-U-R. Okay, we're not gonna get a copyright. We're gonna stop singing a copywritten song. All right, guys, that's day one. I thought the flight was just like literally in the air. All right, we're making our way into descent. Yeah. We were just like down. It was so yeah. fast. It saved us nine hours of driving. That's yeah. why we did that. Yeah, for sure. I'm happy to. Yeah. So we did do some damage. Maybe actually I'll get you to show uh, what I bought at Kmart. Maybe not tonight, but another night I'll show you what I got. Well, maybe not everything because basically we bought a lot of bras. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see that. No, you're not getting a try-on haul of our bras. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell, hell no. <laughs> uh, and did. this is the bra I bought. <laughs> I got three mm. bras. Well, one is a sports bra, so. Speaking of bras, i got to pull mine up. There. Okay, well. Good. Okay, bye. I will show you the items. I got two pieces of clothing, and then I bought some makeup, and that was it. But we were shopping forever. I just kept looking and looking, and I love browsing, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully it's sunny. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Welcome to day two of our Auckland Coromandel trip. Today is going to be our drive day. We're heading out of this hotel soon. We're gonna get breakfast at a cafe called Mimosa. I tried to pick one that was good nearby where we're staying. And I'm just about to show you the view of the Harbour Bridge where we drove over last night. It's so pretty. We're ready to hit the road, ditch this popsicle stand. And uh, I'm going to show you the view though before we go because arguably this is the reason why people would stay here. Also, it's very quiet. Here we go. We've got our private patio. And that view though, bit of tree blockage, but so cool. That's the Harbour Bridge over there. And that is town with the sky tower poking over the bush there. And this is the hotel's property just over this way. I'm not sure that I would stay here again, to be honest. The hotel was a little bit musty, almost like it got flood damage or something. And I've been sneezing a lot. And normally I don't sneeze this much, so it means that there's some allergens in the air. So I'm not sure we would stay here again, but I did wanna just find somewhere to stay where we had free parking, where it wasn't too stressful to get there. The view doesn't hurt. I'm happy it's not raining today. It's supposed to be a little bit showery the next few days, but at least today we'll have some sunny weather and. A beautiful drive down to Coromandel. We'll down and then up. So let's hit the road. Well, breakfast first. Let's go.
courteous driver. Hey, Kara, how's it going? Hi, guys. We are finally made it to the Coromandel Peninsula. We're starting the drive. It's going to be nice and windy, very scenic. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let go. Okay, let go, let go. Oh, my God. This is so beautiful. Look at this. This is my first time here, guys. I'm in a vacation in a vacation. <laughs> so nice to travel with my daughter. And there she is. Beautiful daughter. Just She's such a good driver. All right. I'll fill up some more later. Bye. take on the Nanaimo bar. Hi guys, we just arrived to our accommodation in Coromandel for two nights. This is called Tairua, I think the town is. I don't know how to pronounce it, but let me show you our cute Stay little- and play. Let me show you our cute motel little bungalow sweet thing, cabin, I don't know. Here's our number nine bungalow, super cute. And as you enter, we have the washroom with a shower. Then this is the kitchenette. And look at that, so cute. We love it. I think that's probably a pullout couch and like a king size bed. And then we have our own private patio. Look, it's so pretty. It's a lovely sunny day. And we have a sun lounger. <laughs> How cute is this? Masha's helping out with the luggage. I better go help her, but it smells amazing in here. And they have a Breville machine. Mom drinks coffee, so she'll love that. It smells so good. This is what's smelling really good. Oh, how cute. Oh my God, we love this. It's just so cute, the small details. Like, this is so romantic. If you have a partner, you should come here and stay at these motels. I'll put the name on the screen now because it's so cute. I want to come back in summer, you know, get the whole summer experience. This is totally the vibes of a summer cabin and I can imagine this place is fully booked in season but we're traveling out of season right now so I'm happy we get to experience it at a discount anyways this is a location very close to hot water beach which if you've never been to this area there's a beach here where at certain times of the day you can take a shovel with you and dig a hole and the water that comes up from beneath the sand is hot so hot in fact that you could make yourself a little personal hot tub and soak in your little dugout <laughs> Beautiful sights in this area. Beautiful driving, super windy once you pass Thames. As soon as you pass Thames, it goes into this winding like road. And we had that beautiful lunch. Masha was so astounded and I was shocked to find a Nanaimo bar. <laughs> Nanaimo bars, if you're a Canadian, you know that they're everywhere back home. I could not find one here. It's just not something that New Zealanders eat. Apparently not because I found it in a small cafe restaurant in Tairua and this lady learned the recipe from a Canadian guy that she used to work with at a different cafe. So I got to have an Anima bar. It was really great. I'll have the rest of it later. I saved a bit, a snack later on tonight, but it was a beautiful little lunch on a lovely day. We're so lucky that we have a beautiful sunny day today. How is Masha? She's quiet. <laughs> no, I'm <Huh>? Okay. <laughs> Well, that's that. I'm sure she'll give you her opinion when she's ready. I'm going to relax. We bought a bunch of food at Pack and Save in Thames so that we can make dinner tonight and breakfast the next couple of days. So we will check in with you if we get up to any adventures tonight. for a nighttime, well, an evening sunset stroll, but it's kind of cloudy. I'm not sure how much of a sunset we'll get tonight, but I'm walking on the little lagoon. It's been low tide for like a few hours now. There's no water. <laughs> Basically, we're wondering when does this lagoon fill up with water? So I'm walking on it now because I can. 
and I'm right by some harbor boats and harbor homes. Hopefully we'll see a sunset. If not, that's okay. It's good to get some fresh air. Masha is waiting for me back there. I just think this little hill is just the cutest. Just juts out. Let's see what kind of sunset we can see tonight.